Rafinha with his agency discussing internally of this proposal from Chelsea, but still no final answer on Rafinha's side. Hello guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. Welcome back to discuss, as always, of the transfer market and one of the most crazy saga, let me say, ever for sure of this summer. Rafinha, the Brazilian fantastic winger from Leeds, was the situation, what's going on? Let's jump into it together. And so guys, it's important to remind you that for this Rafinha race, many clubs have always been interested, many clubs have always been in discussions, so it's always been a particular deal. But what happened on Tuesday, Chelsea and Leeds reached an agreement, as I told you, a full agreement between the two clubs, between the president Todd Bowley and the president Andrea Radrizzani, is an agreement for 60-65 million pounds, so full agreement between clubs. But not yet an agreement with a player. I told you Chelsea will need to negotiate the agreement now with Rafinha and with his agent Deco, who is the former Portuguese midfielder who also played with Chelsea and they need to negotiate because it's not a detail, the personal terms in this kind of negotiations. Many times uh, personal terms are really easy when a negotiation is done between the clubs because the player is only negotiating with that club, but in this case it's different because for Rafinha there have always been many clubs in negotiations. So what happened? Chelsea, after the agreement with Leeds that is still valid between Chelsea and Leeds while I'm speaking, is 6 p.m. in uh, the Italian afternoon on Wednesday. So after that agreement, Chelsea, so on Tuesday night, sent their contract proposal to Rafinha and his agents. They have still no final answer. They are discussing, negotiating, of course, Rafinha with his agents is discussing internally of this proposal from Chelsea, but still no final answer on Rafinha's side. So Chelsea are waiting, and I can add a detail, on Thursday, Chelsea have a direct call scheduled with Deco. So Deco will speak with Chelsea on Thursday, or this is the plan, because we know that in the transfer market, things can change in five minutes, but the plan is for Deco to speak with Chelsea on Thursday. This is what I'm told. Leeds are waiting to understand if Rafinha will accept this proposal, because Leeds are okay with Chelsea on 60, 65 million pounds total package. It means that the guaranteed fee will be around 55, with the dons to arrive around 60, 65. So this is the situation between the two clubs. But what's happening? Deco, the agent of Rafinha, was in Barcelona on Wednesday morning to meet with Barca. Gerard Romero on Giantes shows the pictures, the videos of Deco, and it's true, absolutely, that Deco met with Juan Laporta. He has a special relationship with Laporta, with the president of Barcelona. Deco is also a former Barca player. He's the agent of Rafinha. And so Barcelona have an agreement with Rafinha on personal terms since end of February. It's not something new. Rafinha has an agreement with Barca since long time, but he knows that Barcelona, as of now, have never matched the proposal of Chelsea or never had any agreement with Leeds. So what's going on right now? Barcelona are trying until the end to find a solution and to try to find a way to sign Rafinha. Same for Arsenal, because Arsenal on Tuesday afternoon, before the agreement between Chelsea and Leeds, Arsenal made a new proposal for Rafinha. Leeds said no, because the best proposal was from Chelsea, but Arsenal, until the end, with the Brazilian connections, with Edu, and of course with Gabriel Jesus, with many Brazilian players now at Arsenal and Rafinha, they are trying till the end to understand what happens. It doesn't mean that they will enter into a bidding war, but they want to understand what's happening between Rafinha and Chelsea. Will he accept the proposal and so it will be a here we go for Chelsea or not? Guys, it will be resolved in the coming hours. Let's see if today, if tomorrow in the direct call with Deco, if the player will decide before or after, if it will take some time, if Barcelona will be able to pay because there is also the agreement between clubs. So Barca have an agreement with Rafinha, but they need to pay Leeds to reach an agreement for, uh, for Rafinha. So three clubs in this story, for sure Barcelona try until the end, Arsenal working to understand what's going on with this deal because Arsenal were more than interested for Rafinha, made two proposals and Chelsea with an agreement on the club side and now waiting to complete everything on Rafinha side so we'll be able to say here we go for Chelsea but it's still up to the player it's up to Rafinha and so guys let's see what happens in this crazy transfer saga and so guys let me know your thoughts on this Rafinha story how do you think it will end up maybe I will update you later today I don't know yet it depends on Rafinha not on me but we'll do my best to let you know how we'll go so guys let me know here in the comments, as always, remember to subscribe to the channel, as you can see, crazy summer, and turn on the notification bell, so you're not gonna miss any video like this video. See you soon, with Fabrizio.